Good evening, I'm Erica Ritchie. First tonight, we begin in the capital city where Providence police are once again searching for a killer after a man was shot dead inside of a restaurant. And this happened on the heels of another shooting late last night. 12 News reporter Matt Paddock joining us now live from Providence. Matt, good evening to you. Let's talk about what Providence police are telling you this hour. Good evening, Erica. Well, let's start with what happened today. It was nine o'clock this morning and police believe a man was inside of Roke's Cafe enjoying breakfast when he was shot and killed. Police tape, shell casings and markers. This was the scene Saturday morning as police responded to another shooting on Broad Street. The restaurant you see behind me for a main shot. Uh, the man was taken to Royal uh, Hospital. The scene, Roke's Cafe and Restaurant. He was shot inside. Where according to police, a 38 year old man was shot and killed inside of the establishment. According to Providence Police, this was the second shooting in the capital city over the past 24 hours and the 19th homicide this year. When asked what was next for police, LaPayton said, Processing the scene and you know, gathering uh, any witnesses or video and we'll be here for a while. Police first responded to shots fired Friday night on Bellevue Avenue, where they say they found a man who was shot in the chest. We asked Major David LaPayton if either of these shootings were connected, and his response? It's too early. Not too early. Police say that they are searching for suspects in both shootings and that no one has been taken into custody at this time. Now, we reached out to Mayor Jorge Lorza for a comment regarding the shootings. He commended the Providence Police for their continued efforts, and he also said his heart goes out to the victims' families over this senseless violence. But reporting in Providence, Matt Paddock, 12 News.